This is part 11 of Blazor tutorial. In this video and in the next few videos in the series, we'll discuss creating a RESTful API from scratch using ASP.NET Core MVC. If you know how to do this already, you may skip this and the next few videos in the series. If we take a look at the solution we've been working with so far in this video series, notice at the moment in this solution, we've got two projects. This models project contains the models we need, department, employee, and gender. And this is our Blazor server project. We don't want to write NLT framework core code directly within our Blazor project. Instead, we want our Blazor app to be calling a RESTful service. And this RESTful service will take care of retrieving and storing data in the underlying database. So let's add this RESTful service project to our solution. So right click on the solution add new project from the templates list select asp.net core web application click next let's name our project employee management dot api and then click create we want to create a restful api project here so select the api template and then click create notice out of the box this API project has a sample weather forecast RESTful service. This is the project that's going to provide employee data to our Blazor server project. So this means we want both these projects, that is our Blazor server project and the API project to be configured as the startup projects. To do that, right click on the solution within Solution Explorer and then select this option, Set Startup Projects. We want multiple startup projects, so select this radio button. The web project is already configured to start. We also want to configure this API project to start. And remember, it is this API project that provides the data this web project needs. That means this project has to start before the web project. So to change the order, select the project and then use these arrows here. And then click OK. At this point, if we press Ctrl F5, Visual Studio will launch both the projects. This is our Blazor web project and here is the API project. At the moment, we see weather forecast data provided by this sample weather forecast service. For the application that we are building, we don't need this weather forecast service. So let's delete the corresponding files. We don't need this weather forecast.cs file. We also don't need this weather forecast controller. Let's delete both of them. Next, from the API project, we want to be able to use these models, department, employee, and gender. So let's add a project reference to this models project from our API project. So right click on the dependencies folder, add reference, select employee management dot models and click OK. Now if we expand dependencies and then projects, we have a reference to the models project. Now I'm going to make a small change in this employee class. In the employees database table, we'll be storing the employee department ID. So to keep things simple and straightforward for this project, I'm going to change the property name here to department ID and also change its type from the complex type department to a simple integer. This employee class is already referenced within our Blazor web project in this employee list component. So we need to make a change here as well. Notice in this private load employees method, we are still using the old name department. It has changed to department ID and the value is a simple integer. As you can see, there are few other places in this method where we need a similar change. At this point, let's build our solution to make sure it still compiles. There we go, build succeeded. In our next video, we'll add database support for our RESTful API project. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.